This is a reading from the book Muscle and a Shovel by Michael Shank, and we are on chapter six. The title of that chapter is Am I Going to Hell? Kirk was the office leader, and I wanted his acceptance. But I had infringed on his advice, and he had caught me discussing the Bible with Randall. Kirk said little to me throughout the rest of the morning. He was pouting over my disobedience. All of us worked at our desk until lunchtime. We smoked, talked, mulled over paperwork, told office war stories, drank automatic drip coffee, and shared the latest industry gossip. At lunch, a couple of the guys were packing up and getting ready to leave the office to make service calls. Larry was on the phone. One of the engineers was installing a heat roller into a GBC laminator. Kirk was focused on organizing contracts for his biggest account, Vanderbilt Medical Center. I closed up my files and got ready to go into the field. Mikey, Kirk said to me, getting my attention. Kirk was about eight years older than I was, and he had called me Mikey ever since we had met. I never knew why. Yeah, Kirk, I said, turning to him as I lifted my briefcase from my desk. You know that guy Randall believes that Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterians, Catholics, everybody but his church are going to hell? Kirk, I haven't really found out what the guy believes because we haven't discussed it that much yet, I replied. Just a heads up, buddy, Kirk warned. Thanks, man. I was leaving the office with the feeling that my infraction had been forgiven. But was that really what Randall believed? How could anyone believe that? Cults believed that kind of thing, didn't they? Weren't we all headed to the same place but just taking different roads to get there? At least that is what I'd heard people say many times before. How about the phrase I'd seen printed on the back of semi-trailers? Join the church of your choice. It was a mantra that seemed intelligent, reasonable, and tolerant. Wasn't I an open-minded guy? Why are there so many churches anyway? Why can't people agree? Wasn't there just one Bible and one God? Wasn't there just one Jesus? Was there a correct teaching? Through the myriad of mental questions sprouting up in my mind, a central premise came to the surface. All denominations teach conflicting doctrines. Therefore, it isn't possible that all of them are biblically correct. My path to the car took me through shipping and receiving right past Randall's desk. I simply could not resist. My need to be like Kirk, combined with Kirk's gossip about Randall's alleged beliefs, was just too strong. I had to bring it up. Randall, I've got to know if it's true. I stopped between his desk and the back door. Do you think that all denominations except yours are going to hell? I had caught him counting boxes of ink on a pallet that had just been forked out of the back on an 18-wheeler. Randall would stop everything he was doing to discuss the Bible. <clears throat> Mr. Mike, we're not a denomination. It's that simple. Randall, Randall replied as he looked me square in the eye. I wasn't about to let up. Randall, you know I'm a Baptist. Now, if I die, I'm going. am I going to heaven or hell? Just tell me what you think. Mr. Mike, Randall hesitated. I am not the judge of your soul. Only God does that. But the Bible says if you obey the gospel, God adds you to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Christ will save his church. It sounds like you're talking in circles or something, I replied with frustration, wanting a simple yes or no. Randall knew I was frustrated, but he was not going to discuss religion without an open Bible in a proper center, proper setting, and neither of us had the time at that moment. How about we get together and study the Bible tonight, Randall countered. I was, however, determined to force an answer from him on the spot. Randall, just give me a straight answer. Am I going to heaven or hell? Randall was in a metaphorical corner, and he knew that I was not letting him out without an answer. He conceded. 
Friend, it's not what I think that's important. It's what the Bible says that's important. The Bible clearly teaches that everyone who's not a part of the church that Jesus purchased with his blood, Acts 20, 28, will not be saved. Ah, Randall, I raised my voice and felt as though the top of my head was going to blow off. Look, if I'm a Baptist, is it heaven or hell? Answer me straight. Mr. Mike, he said meekly, from my understanding of God's word, if you're a member of a denomination, whether it be Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Episcopalian, Mormon, anything that Jesus Christ did not establish and buy with his blood, there's no question that you're headed straight towards eternal destruction. Kirk was right. I couldn't believe it. I was furious. I felt the immediate rush of adrenaline dump into my bloodstream from the bilateral adrenal glands just above the kidneys. I thought I would punch him in the face. Instead, I turned and stomped out the back door towards my car, but not before I yelled back at Randall. You're the most narrow-minded person I've ever met. As a matter of fact, you're so narrow-minded that you could look through a keyhole with both eyes at the same time. Jumping in my car, I threw the briefcase over the headrest into the back seat, started the engine, squealed the tires, leaving a, smoke, a trail of smoke behind me. So mature. To blank with him, I thought. I'm a Christian, and I'm going to heaven. I don't give a blank about what he thinks. Oh, yes, what a fine Christian I had turned out to be. It was about to get even better.